Now today is quite an exciting day and I will tell you exactly why. I have a little something which arrived for me today. Now let's see what's inside. <laughs> I'm sure you know what's inside. <laughs> Congratulations! Your new hardware has just come home. Oh, exciting stuff ahead! Ooh. I don't know why I was expecting something huge. <laughs> okay, first of all, I bought an EIDE e 99 with the Allegro CDFS. This is an IDE buffer interface. Of course, I'm gonna install a CD-ROM drive in my Amiga, so I needed an... Uh, so excited! <laughs> I needed an, um, a 3-way buffer interface, and um, this will allow me to connect my SD card, the boot card, and also the um, CD-ROM drive, you know, on in the Amiga. So basically, it adds more ports, but you need it to be buffered. So that's arrived, so I can, you know... I can do that. <laughs> and let's see what this is now. Okay, so here we have an ACA, or ACA as I like to call it. <laughs> um, accelerator card. Ooh, this looks good. So this is the ACA, or ACA, <laughs> I like calling it ACA. The ACA 1233N. And uh, this is an accelerator card for the Amiga with uh, 128 megabytes of RAM and 40 megahertz in, uh, CPU here. I was hoping for the day that I do an unboxing of the Vampire 1200. Really, I wanted that. <laughs> you know, because it has the graphics, the sound, everything, you know. But unfortunately, that project has fell through, you know. So this, this is all I have and this is good. Okay, so this is the other side of it. There's some jumper settings here. What are they for? So here it says installing FPU may cause instability. In that case, switch to switch off burst mode. See the da -da -da website for FPU installation and inst installation help. FPU is not covered by official product water the product support, which I'm taking means that ah, it says here any soldering voids warranty. Okay. <laughs> so I have that option for installing FPU if I wanted to. I'm not going to do that right now because <laughs> I don't want to avoid my warranty. But um, so basically this changes it into a 68,030 and stuck Amiga 68,020. This IDE uh, buffer interface thing, I will install at a later date. I will make a, a separate video on this. Once I've done the video to that, I will link in the, in the description below and on the annotations or something like this. So, yeah. I'm excited. I have an accelerator card. I've been wanting this for quite a few days. One thing, one which I regret selling is my Blizzard PPC 68,040 uh, processor, uh, uh, accelerator card, sorry. Uh, that was also 128 megabytes of RAM, which I know it's just, and I had a B Vision graphics card and all that, and I regret selling it now. So, anyway, enough jib jab. I want to install this thing. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and just boot this up without even, without the accelerator in there, so you can kind of get a little bit of an idea on uh, how things work. I'm actually using an Amiga to HDMI up upscaler, so I'm using it on a CRT, mo uh, CRT on a <laughs> HD monitor. Freaking, what's my brain today? <laughs> HD monitor. So um, let's go inside here. As you can see, the, everything is coming up really slowly. Um, the applications, the icons are coming up slow. <laughs> this one, um, this is one application which, <clears throat> you know. I'd like to use, but it uses, I think it requires a lot of memory. You can see the memory here, uh, and there's no other fast memory or no other memory. So, if I run this, you will see. 
Like you can see it's gone all the way down here and it's gonna keep going lower until it just crashes and runs out of memory and crashes. Yep. Crashed. Some of the stuff out from the back. Let's turn this thing over and access the trap door. Okay, we gently prize this open like this. Okay, so now we are ready to install this thing. Set this under here. I haven't done this for years. <laughs> A big moment for me. <laughs> there you go. It's in. So now is the first boot up. <laughs> Switch it on. Hard, there's no hard drive access. Let's not panic, let's just open this and we go out and see what's going on inside. Okay, so according to the manual, you know, the Amiga is old and these things can be, I mean, despite just being clean, them, these things can just get gunky. So what I'm gonna do and what it recommends is nothing abrasive, nothing hard. It just says basically use a pencil eraser. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, it doesn't feel right doing this, but that's what it says to do. So it's going to go to the underside of it also. It said exactly that. Just in case your Amiga does not even turn on, this is what you do. So that's what I'm doing. Let's see what happens here. Okay, this time it loads up. Ooh, it's fast. It is fast. But there's no mouse. Because I did not connect the mouse. So that's okay. <clears throat> I don't feel... I. Oh my god. I thought, oh no, not some trouble with my Amiga now. I haven't tested it properly yet, but for now, I'm a happy woman. <laughs> that it actually powered up. I'll put the screws safely where I can find them because normally I, I'm not good with screws and I lose them. I'll just put them in there. <laughs> you know, this probably explains why I've got a screw loose myself. <laughs> so, let's switch this on and hold the two mouse buttons down. Okay, we've done this. Go to expansion board. We have one. Yay, it's working! I need to get the the software for this, the tune utility. <gasps> 132. Hold on, I thought it was 128. Anyway, 132 megabytes there. And it's got, you know, full chip memory. Everything loads much faster. <laughs> You're happy now. Okay, so what I need to basically do here is um, figure out how to use this Aka Tune thing. <laughs> and, um, I've covered it, you know, on my Amiga. I use this master gold always. Uh, the gold, I think, is like an upgrade to this master too. But I always preferred this master to direct three opus and all this. I've used it since the beginning, <laughs> and I don't think I'm going to change because I like it. My compact flash card, which is the PCMCIA one. I have to say I'm not good with command line, so. I may get it wrong, but let's kind of figure this out together. <laughs> okay, so so Akatun goes into C directory, which I kind of know. Okay, so Amiga E again, and Akatun status. It's still detecting that it's 12:30, and I don't get what this one dollar is. Okay, what I need to do now is figure out what I'm doing. So let's go into this. Read me again. Okay, so we just did this. I can stare this. How to use the tool. So basically, you have that and you have the options you put in. The arguments of the options. Okay, so map from. Is map from? Okay, so basically, put them. Copy the Amiga system to the onboard. Okay, so I want that. Using two asterisk or 
one megabyte. Okay. okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write down on my notepad the options which I want. So map RAM is one of them. So it's with Kickstart and fast RAM, the computer starts extremely fast. Sometimes so fast that the GL chip is not yet out of reset state. It will miss some accesses. As a result, the computer does not find a hard disk and comes up with the insert disk screen. That's, that's freaking waiting for a bootable disk. That's bad. You made it so fast that I freaking can't even catch up with it. Keep up with itself. Okay, so I'm guessing we need P. So at the end of the asterisk, there's a space and a P. By passing the parameter on, all, av all available CPU caches are enabled. Okay, that's fantastic. Burst mode, yes, I want burst mode on. So by passing, so I want. So what we need to do here is go inside your S. Okay, so you go to startup sequence, and. This is what I love about this master gold. It gives the option to edit text. You know, just here. Okay, so we have that. Okay, see. Just need to just need to add a thingy to it. So I can I can do one. A friend just told me to put nil first. So I can do one nil. And then you put the command strings. So, so the first is map um, space asterisk 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 and p and then another space and then the next option. Oops. Set c zero mem five one two and then a space again. Oops. Cash on space another option burst and I think that's it. This will work. <laughs> Let's hope it works. Cash on burst on and just file save and then control Amiga Amiga reset. Uh, let's do the status thing, Amiga E, and then um, Amiga Twin. It's the same, basically. I mean, that was already up standard, standard, and modified. Why is the data burst not working? One thing which I don't like is this. Hardware ID, Aka1230. Mine is a 1233N and it's 40 megahertz. I don't get this one dollar nonsense either. I guess I see everybody doing this info. <laughs> so I wanna like kind of see. Okay, I don't know what the freak that was. Memory, let's check that. Total size 126 megabytes. Expansion memory, okay, cool. So that's my memory. Drives, what's the drive? Disco, that's just the, uh, speed. Okay, so we have it's running at 9.5 megaflops. <laughs> MIPS. So all well, these are on. That's cool. And that is that is what I have. I need to try out um this is speed. I hate it when you get a program that just does not open. Why? What's wrong? Anyway, let's forget that. We saw the system for for now. And now that we have determined that this accelerator card works, now all that is left to do is have some fun.
what I'm planning to do here is install um, 3.1 RAMs. I've got the RAM chips, I got them too. <laughs> I've been treating myself a lot to the Amiga stuff. And uh, I will be installing OS 3.9 on this thing. So that's when things start getting exciting. I'll be doing that in another video. So thank you so much for watching, for your likes, your comments, and do subscribe for more because there's a lot of exciting things coming up. And for now, I say adios. <laughs>